mined from the quarries of Italian design, forged by world champions of offshore racing, and alloyed with the finest in luxury yacht production the world has ever seen. Anvera is, without a doubt, one of the greatest success stories in Italian yacht building today. When I first filmed them two years ago, they had one model built in one shipyard. Now, that was the Anvera 55. They called it a crossover boat because it crossed the gap between a rib and a yacht. Since then, they've sold seven units. They've doubled their production facility and they've doubled their product range with the introduction of this, the Anvera 48. The fact that Anvera have already sold five of these 48-foot models since they announced its release to the public just 12 months ago is an indication that they have a winning formula on their hands. Compact, sporty, stylish and actually remarkably practical for a fun day out on the water, Anvera have built their business around a firm belief that where performance on the water is concerned, carbon fibre is the very best material to use. Carbon fibre is a prestigious material and not just because it's expensive and so you can tell your friends that you have an expensive boat, but the prestige stems from the process behind the construction of a carbon fibre boat, a process beautifully illustrated at Ambera's factory in Italy. Here, each component of the boat is laid up in its own mould. Gel coat and a skin coat is laminated just like any other boat. But then, the moulded piece is vacuum sealed for 12 hours in a temperature controlled oven so that the resin does not catalyse. And this produces a single piece that has absolutely no air pockets and is as thin, light and strong as possible. Once this is completed, a carbon fibre sheet is added and in some parts of the boat a foam core of a material called termanto. And once again the piece is vacuum sealed in a temperature controlled oven that actually chills rather than heats the unit during this part of the process. Each piece goes through a cycle of lamination and vacuum sealing three times before it's ready to be fitted to the actual boat itself. Once all of those moulded pieces come together, the entire boat returns to the oven, where this time the temperature is increased to 65 degrees. This creates a chemical reaction that closes the resin, so that the entire boat actually has the molecular composition of one single piece, rather than many pieces all glued together. There's something you will want to tell your friends about. And when you do take them out on the Ambera 48, they'll appreciate the performance so much more knowing that this is Formula One race car technology. This model has two 370 horsepower engines and stern drives. That kind of power combined with the lightness of the hull from the carbon fiber and an optimized hull for speed and for comfort results in top speeds of over 40 knots and fuel economy you just can't believe. Those are two things that just never go normally hand in hand. And Vera call this sustainable speed. And it's another concept that sets them apart from the competition. By building in lighter material, they can achieve greater speed with less fuel burn. Less fuel burn means longer range, but above all, it means less emissions. In other words, less pollution for more sustainable boating. But if it is speed that you really want, then you just have to take a look at the Anvera 48S. 
This model has two Mercury 550 horsepower engines together with surface piercing propellers and reaches a blistering 50 knots of top speed. But it's not just the extra horsepower that makes the difference. The top system transmissions on this boat offer remarkably advanced technology, adjusting the trim and the flaps and even the revolutions of the propellers so that the Envera sits nicely in all kinds of conditions, even when you want to have some fun with tight cornering. Each Anvera 48 is a wonderful testimony to a marriage of advanced technology and exquisite modern design. Italian designer Aldo Drudi has created a distinctive profile that's instantly recognizable to the Anvera brand. And inside you benefit from a level of finishing that would not be out of place in a far larger luxury yacht. The cabin is well lit by discreet side windows and a well-proportioned area has been dedicated to a bathroom complete with a shower. Whilst the cabin can be very inviting for overnight stays though, it's the features found on the deck that make the Anvera really stand out from the crowd. At anchor, two side panels open up to create a wonderful and expansive 20 square meter swim platform in which sea bobs can be stored in concealed compartments complete with chargers. Here too, we see an example of Anvera's sustainable speed concept. The opening terraces are also made from carbon fiber, as is the hardtop, and the interior reinforcements of the hull and the deck. In all, Anvera say that they save 30% in weight over a more traditional composite hull. This allows them to get better performance with smaller engines. The smaller engines mean more space for some really cool features, like this super yacht style swim ladder. Back on deck, a central dining area with a carbon fiber table is placed so that it is both in a shaded area of the boat, but also conveniently close to the grill and the ice maker. This really is a wonderful layout for a boat of this size, offering spacious sunbeds at the bow, a shaded seated area in the middle, and a swim platform aft. And Vera also offer these sofas made by a local company called Trona that actually float so that you can admire the lines of the Anvera 48 whilst it's at anchor without having even to get out of your seat. This has been such a satisfying experience to come back two years after filming the Anvera 55 to take a look at the new Anvera 48. When I first heard of the company, I could see that they had a well-designed boat, well put together. I knew that the people behind the company had serious credentials and experience. Then when we did the sea trial, I could feel how well the boat performed. Even then though, there's no guarantee that a new company with a new product will succeed. The fact that Anvera is not just surviving, but they're prospering with a healthy order book, that tells me that not is this just a great product, built by a great group of people, but there's actually a market demand for this kind of boat. And we are destined to see many more Anveras used as chase boats to super yachts and day cruisers around the world for many years to come.